continue the revolution. The full revolution. Saying basically, just keep looking around, I guess. General drop asking Ivar. Right then, seeing who else to talk to. Lots of people probably. Let's check well. Welcome into my shop. Thank you. All right, straight to business. Not she's not about talking. Uh, look at the money required. You need strength. and dexterity. Ten intelligence to dexterity. So it's good to have at least ten intelligence like we do into my shop. I've been in your shop. Naburo will keep some rats alive if you were um, like for trading and stuff. He sided with them. Heavy racking slave hammer. 
21 spent. I do. No. Oh, yeah, you have to press X and I say keep the game. X is next time. It's quite strange. You need more strength. We have to do some mining too. Ten dexterity to strong. Just wait until plus three, then we'll talk. It's like an H, I guess.
level up again. I should check something, you know, that ring, for example. That ring is gonna save you. A ring which, um... What does it do now? Grants you all... Dexterity to strength, ten intelligence, just for two thousand. Crazy. I, I still got to wait though, I guess. This slide. Use that let at the end. That will make things easier. Just need to pop up certain stats to a certain level. Anyway, I think uh, it's good to. Pretty sick, actually. It's gonna be. How do you attack? Silver, you have really messed things up for us. So many reasons to hate you. What an entree. You really are a people person. Yes, and I am also trying to be the bigger person here. I have something to show you. Keep it in your pants. No interest here. Really? What if I told you we have a spaceship? One we could use to get out of this shithole? And my friend Ilva has a whole army of killing monsters at his command. So he can easily get us to that spaceship. Boom! Ah, of course. You had one of these visions too. Well, then I would tell you Brian already told me. Although he was more about the cradle, the mission, and piggybacking on the Naboro to fulfill it. 
Not my style, as you can see. Brian? Ah, shit. We better hurry then, because I have chosen you. You've chosen me? What's this, some red pill, blue pill bullshit? I really don't have the time for this, so... Hold on. I am sure Brian doesn't know what I know, because I am the captain now, so I know stuff. You're the captain? Not in my book. Honestly, I don't know what Brian told you, but you definitely need a new addition here. The ship very clearly told me I am David's successor. And if you don't believe me, let me show you. David's successor? Really? Yeah. That's what you find most interesting here? Maybe. All right, I give up. Show that thing of yours. Now we're talking. So, look. Oh, finally. I hope you can hear me loud and clear. My favorite crew member. You need to come to me, Marco. I am your ship, and I am the only one who can get you out of here. With David out of the picture, you are the captain now. I just need you to recover the cradle. I can't really leave without it. So, first things first. To get to me, you'll need a boat. Locals call me Lady of the Lake. But the lake is actually a part of the local sea. Long story. Just look for a pyramid-shaped island with your sharp observation skills. I'm sure you will ace this. You shall fully cooperate with whoever wakes you up now. I know your free, untamed spirit will hate that, but you will need to gain their trust. I know you can do it. And then, once you have the cradle, we can kiss them goodbye and fly away together. Just- Ouch! Holy fuck! Could you guys learn how to unplug those things properly? It kind of doesn't have an off button, does it? And the rest was really not important. Really? Nothing about the life support systems, perchance? What? No. How do you... Why would you ask that? Just a wild guess. No worries. We'll cross that bridge later. So, you knew all along that David was our captain. But why would he destroy the ship? This just doesn't add up. What? He destroyed the ship? She seemed fine to me. Well, she says he somehow damaged her. There was a mutiny. Or something. It's all still quite hazy, like the captain's log. Well, I mean, David's log now. Changes the perspective, eh? What log? Those notes he left us, in those weird terminals. Ah, yeah. I didn't finish any of those boring stuff. Let's forget the dead guy and focus on us. Us? Yeah, you and me. Do you think I have showed you how to get to our ship just for the kicks of it? Well, maybe. I mean, we are humans. We stick together. We share. Yeah. And you will share the spaceship with me. Thanks to me, you can find it now. But I want to tick it out if you figure out how to fly that thing out of this place. And I know the ranks mean shit now. But hey, I am the captain. Can't leave without me, right? Why don't you go there yourself then? Ah, that's complicated. I have some things to take care of here. Yeah, sounds like something the captain would say. Anyway, I also have things to take care of. I'm looking for Ilvar. Where is he? Upstairs. But hey, think about what I said. You wouldn't let your fellow human rot in this shithole, would you? And unlike Brian, I am not killing your little furry friends. Right. Well, I'll see what I can do. <clears throat> Alright. See how it updated anything. Can barely read it at all. Anyway.
talk a bit more. What is it? I can't seem to find Ilvar. I told you, he's upstairs. But hey, I would be more worried about our ship. That's far more important to us. You need to get to that island somehow, which means a lot of swimming or a boat. Well, I need to get one anyway. That's why I'm here in the first place. So, two birds, one stone. Well, fingers crossed. Disappointments of a heroic figure. What a welcome. I am sorry, but have we met? Because I would probably never forget that. Not yet, my remarkable rogue Rackin renegade. Our ways have sadly parted too soon. And your unsolicited, impromptu retrieving of Trap from the mines and uniting him with Yossi have separated us even further. What? That was disturbingly specific. I like to stay in the new. Like now. I know you desire a ship. Well, yes. I might have one. But why would I share? Maybe if you shared your plan in exchange. Plan? Well, I didn't have a plan. I'm simply trying to survive. You certainly must aim for something higher. Like what? I was referring quite literally to the things above us. You don't strike me as a spiritual type of guy. Quite the contrary. I'm well known for my inclination towards various types of spirits. But now I mean the sky. Getting off this planet. Honestly, I would first like to find out where we come from and why we're here. Oh, wouldn't we all? <laughs> yes, it's the where are we going that is vital at this point. I'm certainly going to the coast where the General sends me. Enough of the metaphysics. Just give me that ship. Of course. Sailing in the wake of Her Majesty's keel. Did you mention to your furry friend, Drop, your concocted detour to the island? What? How do you know about that? As I have said already, I like to stay in the know, and I shall provide you with the vessel you crave. For I know this journey will certainly broaden your horizons and make your plans align with mine. What? How? Oh, worry not, my friend. Simply take these keys, dart to the docks, get on my glorious galleon, and sail safely. Right, I have very mixed feelings about this, but thank you, I guess. Rest assured, the feelings are mutual. Fare thee well, brave sailor.
Right. Let's have a chat. What a delight. Our peacemaking prodigy returns. Is my simple sailboat not to your liking? Actually, one thing is bugging me. Did you really say our ways have parted too soon? Maybe I did. Maybe I did not. If my little soliloquy has piqued your interest, that was its aim. It certainly has. Good. Then you might discover your real goal soon, which will be extremely convenient. Since you have helped the rodentious rascals win this war, and hence gravely endangered my scrupulous schemes. That doesn't add up, my mysterious friend. Drap told me you were shoving some weapons their way so they could fight. So, if they actually won, I would say you have mostly yourself to blame. Oh, my irresistibly innocent immortal imp. Let me elucidate. It's not the meek who shall inherit any planet. It's arms dealers. It's arms dealers. For if we arm all the parties involved, they shall have their hands full and minds preoccupied with killing each other. But never ever should you tip the scales. And you did, my straightforward friend. Ruining months of my exceedingly elaborate and punctilious planning. Still, I am willing to simply put all that behind us, since I know we might have common goals. <coughs> I am not sure that I can share goals with somebody who obviously plays both sides. So, sorry not sorry for ruining your schemes. I really do believe that Ratkins deserve justice. Yet you did gladly accept my help in my ship. Because you need it to proceed. For the moment, just believe me that what you seek might not only be justice. Sure, whatever. Time will tell, my friend. Time will tell. It probably would be to my liking, but I can't find the damn thing. Finally. A painful question of your existence I feel perfectly capable of answering. My valuable vessel is, unsurprisingly, by the water. That's where they rest. See for yourself. What a delight. Our peacemaking prodigy returns. Is my simple sailboat not to your liking? Is the thing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This is the one. Big diamond.
On second thought, let's stay here. One oh three, four three two, and three hundred and fifty eight AW. That's pretty high. Maybe some recent history then. I would say this is a well, probably something falling, giant burning wheel falling into a body of water. That doesn't seem like a great topic for a tapestry, unless the Naboru are really into abstract surrealism. It could probably be a spaceship landing, poorly I would guess, or it could be anything else. Really, with half of the thing missing, it's hard to tell. Why would they leave it unfinished? I 
and these not been there for a couple thousand years. Kind of situation.
Their arms extended right from what is that? Something like
Don't take any more. Ah, God. <laughs> mm -hmm.
Now let's check that mysterious island. It's an entrance. Ship, steer us towards it. Let's have a look inside. Hello, Jason. Um, hello? Why'd you call me Jason? That's your name, silly. Deck Officer Jason Bunting. On active duty since 103.048.04.12. That's a pretty shitty name. Not at all, Jason. Great grandson of Hermes. You are destined for great things. Earth mythology? Really? Don't you like it? Fine. We'll go with Jason for now. So you are our ship, I presume? Apologies, dear. I'm assuming too much. Yes, I'm your ship. I was the one trying to communicate with you when they woke you up. I'm so glad you came to me. Now we can carry on with the mission. Well, to be honest, a lot of that vision was static. I'm here on a tip from Marco. Marco? I hope you haven't been spending much time with him. Spending time with him? Why? <laughs> Sorry, I sound like a mother. I just don't want you getting caught up with the wrong crowd. Anyway, you're a good boy, right, Jason? That's a pretty creepy question. Honestly, now I mostly want to understand what's going on here and get home. Good. After all, why you came isn't important. We will finish the mission together, and everything will be clear. Could we clear up a few things beforehand? No, not really. I can't disclose any details with you until I'm completely sure I can trust you. That trust needs to be earned. So you need me to do something for you? That's a new one to me. Not for you for the mission. Right. First, I'll need you to find me one thing here on the ship. What thing? It's a simple, steady-state, solid photonic matter deactivator. Can I call it just the deactivator? Yes, but I need you to find it for me. What do you need it for? You will need it, but let's take things one step at a time. If it's here in the ship, can't you find it yourself? Unfortunately, my physical presence is limited. One of my main systems was damaged. We'll take care of that later. So, what can you do? At the moment, mostly just talk to you. Could you at least tell me where it is, then? Negative. It was moved from its place. You know, it's David's fault. He tried to... steal the deactivator so he would have the cradle only to himself. Such a disappointment. David? But isn't he... He's a traitor. But we are lucky he's dead now. I had to... He had to be removed. He had no respect for the mission whatsoever. <laughs> well, I'd say that as a captain, he... Captain Schlapton. Enough about him. He is dead. Not an asset. Focus on the mission. All right, all right. So, the deactivator. Please find it, and bring it to the captain's bridge. And what if I don't want to run your little errand? Oh, Jason, don't let me down. As much as I love you, if you won't do this for me, I'm afraid you will remain here. I'll not let you leave, my dear. 
More time for us to be together. Catching up. Getting to know you better. Watching you die. Fine. I get it. Can't blame a guy for wanting to know his options. Jason, have you found the deactivator? Not yet. We need it, dear. Please hurry.
this must be David, our cryptic captain. He absolutely deserves a moment of silence. Shit. What's that? Trapped by Ada? Don't trust her. That's so him. Lot of drama and no explanation of who that Ada was and why she trapped him. But didn't the ship say she had to remove him? And wouldn't that mean she is Ada? Why would he call her that? Well, given the history of violence she might have, I am sure as hell not asking her. I'll have to play along and untangle this later. Thank you for the heads up, Captain. Now, where did you put that deactivator? Whoever will be reading this, I was trapped here by Aida. Thought terminal was full, but now realized I can overwrite previous log. Blocked door. Dying of thirst, can't think straight. Dying over and over. Shorter intervals. You need to know that. Override and put us back on track somewhat. It took some effort, but I explained to the Naboru that we are stuck here together now. They were surprisingly docile. From what I've gathered, some of them did something wrong with the cradle. And the others, well, they were far from thrilled about it. Still, I couldn't get them to tell me what exactly happened. They keep mentioning some deranged experiments, but their exact nature and extent are not clear. Yet. I'll be collecting some DNA samples to figure this out eventually. Next steps, collect the DNA, dismantle the cradle. Surprisingly, the Naboru have agreed that we need to prevent such behavior in the future. Marvelous. I'll separate the programming shell unit from the core and place them in separate locations. Immediate concerns need to take some safety measures. Maybe develop a device to protect both parts of the cradle. Possible solution, adapting the hollow help to create a container, use it for camouflage. Ida, no progress, we're still hostile. We'll solve later. Over.
Jason, have you found the deactivator? I have it right here. I have a question, though. Later. Now please take it and go to the bridge. The door's on the left when you get there. You may need to open them from behind. Jason, please. Behind those doors, which means you might have to enter from behind. Enter from behind, eh? Somehow I feel like I'm missing a great opportunity for a joke here. What? B ah, that's it. Thank you. Jason, I know, I know. On my way. Jason, please. You need to find your way to the bridge. Behind those doors on the left. They're mechanically locked. Which means you might have to enter from behind. Enter from behind, eh? Somehow I feel like I'm missing a great opportunity for a joke here. What? B ah, that's it. Thank you. Jason, I know, I know. On my way. Jason, please. You need to find your way to the bridge. Behind the which means Enter from what? Ah, Jason, I know.
we continue again. Right now it's somewhere down there. I've already forgotten where it is. 